Well, when I was in school, it was a very small school. Mm -hmm. And if you weren't uh, an athlete, uh, you weren't cool. Yeah. And well, at I, least that's changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I wasn't an athlete, and so it wasn't. I wasn't in the clique, and that bothered me. Yeah. But I was trying to tell jokes, make everybody laugh, and uh, the only attention I got was from my teachers. They thought I was kind of funny, but it was it was disappointing to be the outcast. Yeah. In the I would say I was the same group. way. Yeah, I didn't fit in. I, my parents wanted me to be the athlete and they would make me go out and it was humiliating. Yeah. So I would start doing comedy and jokes to take the focus off of that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm the funny guy bumbling with the football instead of the guy that just can't catch. Yeah. You know, even though it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I felt <laughs> at the time like a square peg in a world full of round holes and mm -hmm. And but look at us now. Yes. We fit in. <laughs> and now... <laughs> look at you on your car. <laughs> yeah. And now I still feel like a square peg. Yeah. But I'm used to it. Yeah, but now you're getting paid for it. Yeah. I, so, I say I'm getting paid for things that used to get me detention. Yeah. And so that's great. And I wouldn't go back for mm -hmm. uh, $10 million. No. Well, I know they love you over at Grand Country there. And, and the feeling uh, is likewise. It's uh, a tremendous group of people. Mm -hmm. You um, love them, but you're not in love with that's them. That's right. Because that would be a very yes. awkward yeah. situation. <laughs> that's not legal There's in so Missouri many of yet. Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think the the environment there is so conducive to having a good time. It is. I did the show. Uh, the, um, the Late Show. The Late Show. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what to expect. And yeah. I went there and I went back to my show and said I had the best time. They were nice. Yep. They were, you know, friendly. They were bringing us drinks from the the uh, concession stand. Right. They were, you know, the bubble baths and the back rubs. Exactly. And stuff. And, you don't oh, expect you can't that. Get that from Jamie. The oil was a bit much. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and the incense. It was just, beautiful. Yeah. No, but, but it's just such a nice atmosphere there and they they kind of uh, uh i felt from an outside view that they encouraged the creativity and your mm -hmm. input and you weren't there just following a script uh, that somebody gave you right and so you had that chance to explore a little bit boy do you explore huh? yeah. yeah well i kind of look at a as a the routine as an outline you've got a starting point and you better end mm -hmm. at some point and but it's the middle where you yeah do what you want and yeah. so I always try to have a few fill in the blank spots, yeah, so uh that the rest of the cast is awake to kind of hear what what I might do there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it challenges you a little bit too, but when that green room when you're laughing and having a good time in the green room, then it happens on stage too the audience can tell, yeah, just like if there's distrust and hatred in the the green room that goes out on stage yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And it's just not, uh, it's not anything you look forward to then. No, but, no, they can tell when you're faking it. Yeah, and, but at, uh, down home and the Comedy Jamboree and, and all the shows over there, the people are just uh, ultimately so capable of yeah. what they're there for. Yeah, uh, very musicians. talented. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who was the least talented person there? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> who, who do you not get along? Who has the worst habits? Let's do that. Oh. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Make you some friends. Exactly. And that's why we're here. That's so. why. Well, I want to thank you for uh, talking with me here. Well, and it's been a lot of fun. Me. And I'm going to have to uh, see the show sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in any time. schedule's crazy. You know how it is. Yeah. It's so difficult. I'm sure you've never seen my show. Uh, I saw you. Um, I see my wife works for one of the banks here in town, and they were invited to uh, take one of the noon cruises. And this was several oh, years so ago. So it's been a long time ago. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe your first or second year. Oh, it's so much better now. <laughs> well, great. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, I don't know whether you get comps or anything like that oh but, you see you know. what's happening here <laughs> <laughs> no i i'm uh, i'll sell them to you i'm pretty cheap <laughs> yes and uh i don't i don't go out a whole lot unless it's uh well you'll be mowing my lawn yes that's what i'll have you do <laughs> you might as well we'll add you to the list but thanks for coming oh, you're to talk welcome, to me Christopher. and go to the grand country uh website and uh, go to the facebook and the youtube and the twitter and yeah. uh, all that stuff i'm sure you're all into that yeah. uh twitter i don't know anything about mm -mm, uh, no. 
I've got a few things on YouTube, but I, I am on Facebook as Harley Worth It. Yeah. And I put a new joke on there every morning. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, oh, might as well oh, start yeah, your day yeah. with a laugh. Because you, I notice it on mine. I always check it out and stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. It was very, very funny. So you're the one. <laughs> I'm the <laughs> one like. Yeah. That you get <laughs> right there. But thanks for watching and stay tuned for more of uh, All Things Branson. Bye-bye.